Hi guys, it's Danny, and I'm here today with a January book haul video. A little bit late since it's already the 1st of February and my lighting is terrible because I got the motivation to do this at 6 p.m. So all the natural light is gone, naturally. So I've been MIA for a while. Um, I went to England, filmed a little bit, didn't get uh, all the footage I wanted, but I think I can make a nice montage video for you guys out of the footage that I did get, so stay tuned for that. I've also not had a whole lot of motivation lately. I've been in a rough place personally, uh, but yeah, I just got the overwhelming need to share my books with you for this month because I don't know if you can see this pile, but it's a big pile. I think there are 14 books there and one library book. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. So some of these books I've already read, some of them I've yet to read, and one of them I'm currently reading. So I'll just go through it as we go along. Right, the first book, which is a library book, is Wonder by R.J. Palacio. Palacio, I don't know if I'm saying this right. Um, this was wonderful, I really enjoyed this. I remember seeing this years ago and being intrigued and just never reading it. So I picked this up and really enjoyed it. It's about a young boy named August with a facial disfigurement and he's been homeschooled his whole life and it's about him starting school for the first time and his experiences and the experiences of the people around him. I really enjoyed this more than I thought I would. It was really emotional and really well written. I've also heard there's a movie in production for this book which is very exciting. So yeah, if you've not read this I highly recommend it because I put it off for a really long time and then I read it and really enjoyed it. Next I have my currently reading which is Alice by Christina Henry. I'm only on the third chapter of this, I believe I'm kind of in a reading slump at the minute. But this is exactly what it sounds and looks like, which the cover is... Oh, it's beautiful, I love this. Um, it's a creepy retelling of Alice in Wonderland. Alice is in a hospital and there's a fire and her and her friend Hatcher are able to escape. That's as far as I've got. Only something else has escaped with her, something dark, something powerful. And to find the truth, she will have to track this beast to the very heart of the old city where the rabbit waits for Alice. Alice in Wonderland is my favourite of everything. Book, movie, product in general. If you know me at all, you will know this very well, so I'm really excited to get into this. The next book I have also read is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. This is Nicola Yoon's first book and it is about a girl who is allergic to the world and a boy moves in across the street from her and it's their story and I don't want to give anything away but the ending really got to me and I really enjoyed this and I, I highly recommend reading this if you haven't done so already. After I read Everything Everything and enjoyed it so much, I ordered McLean's next novel, which is The Sun is Also a Star. These are from Book Depository, by the way. Alice was from Waterstones, and I will remember to tell you where I got the rest from. Uh, this is a story of a boy and a girl, Natasha and Daniel, and it is set in one day. Natasha is going to be deported, and so she's fighting to try and stop that from happening. Daniel is in his own personal struggle of school and parents and brother and it's just their story in a day and it's very well written and I was hooked and I did prefer everything everything but I still recommend this if you haven't already read it. This next one I picked up as a library book, read it in a day I think and had to purchase it just so I owned it myself. This is Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven. I read her first book, which was, was it her first book? I think All the Bright Places was her first book. I read that and that is one of my favorite books. And so I decided to pick this up and oh boy did I enjoy it. It's about a girl named Libby and a boy named Jack. And it's the story of how they meet and them conquering their own personal struggles again. and. I just, I felt a lot while I was reading this book. It did a really good job of making me fall in love with the characters and understanding all of their perspectives and where they were coming from with their struggles. And I just, I don't think I have a bad book in here. So I can't rave about them all enough, but this is another amazing one. If you enjoy Jennifer Niven's other work, you will really enjoy this. Next, I picked up from a local charity shop, I picked up 
a book for myself there and I chose a book, well my sister chose a book for her and I forgot to hand it over to her. Uh, this is Lullaby by Amanda Hawking. I've just looked at the back and realised that this is the second in a this is the second in a series, so I'm gonna buy her the first one, and once that arrives, I'll give her both of these. I'm not sure what it's about. I think it's about sirens from what I can see, uh, but my sister seemed really interested in this, so I just thought I'd include it in the book haul. Next is the book that I purchased for myself from the charity shop, which I'm really excited to own. It is the first of the Mortal Instruments series. It's City of Bones by Cassandra. Oh, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Um, I know how huge these books are, especially on booktube, and I am so far behind with all of the popular reads, and I want to get so many of them read this year, and so <sighs> I'm very excited. From what I've heard of this, I have a lot to look forward to with this series, so I can't wait to see. Next is a childhood favourite of mine that I ordered from Book Depository, it's The Little Prince um, by Antoine de I'm not even going to try and pronounce his last name because I will butcher it, but everyone knows The Little Prince. Um, I had a hardback copy of this book when I was a child. I remember going purchasing it with my grandparents. I don't know where we were. I, I remember it looking like a library, but was it a library where you can purchase the books? I, I have no idea. But it was basically the hardback of this cover and I saw this on Book Depository and it was very cheap and I had to get it and I'm excited to read it again. I recently watched the Netflix film The Little Prince that stars Rachel McAdams and that movie, oh, I highly recommend that movie to go with this book um, and like I said I just, this book makes me very happy, it gives me a lot of feelings and nostalgia and I couldn't not own it anymore. Next book I have is a poetry book and it's Milk and Honey by Ruthie Cower. I hope I'm saying that last name right, oh jeez. Um, I had seen so many excerpts of this online and whenever I saw one of the poems I googled it and saw that it was from Milk and Honey and then it just came up on Book Depository and I decided I had to get it. I read this in a, I think I want to say one 30 minute sitting and I'll definitely be rereading it. This is the journey of surviving through poetry. This is the blood, sweat, tears of 21 years. This is my heart in your hands. This is the hurting, the loving, the breaking, the healing. There is a lot in this poetry book that speaks to me very personally. There is a lot I felt while reading this and I just think it's really well done. Um, and yeah, I, I'm not really articulating how much I feel for this book, this poetry collection, but this means a lot to me and I feel like it will do for a very long time to come. The next four books I purchased at Walterstone. The first book I've already read, it's Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. This is one of my favourite books of all time. I don't know if you can see part of the poster behind me. Um, this is just such a fantastic book. I can't find decent word choice right now. This is the Penguin Modern Classics edition. I liked this cover more than the other covers they had uh, on offer because I don't... It's such a controversial topic and I don't like the books with the covers of the young girls on the front of them for that reason and so I'm really glad I found this. I did own a copy. I let a friend borrow it and then we lost contact so... I figured I wasn't getting that back anytime soon and I saw this and had to pick it up. And I think I do want to reread it again sometime this year, but we'll see. Again, also from Waterstones is The Colour Purple by Alice Walker. I watched the movie for the first time a few months ago and realised I needed to read the book. It's amazing as everyone says it is, the movie that is, and I just feel like it's something I need to read and something everybody should be required to read in their life. Uh, it's very emotional, very real, very hard hitting and I'm just really excited to delve into this and it's a beautiful cover as you can see. Next I have Three Dark cl Clowns? Three Dark Clowns? Next I have Three Dark Crowns by Kendara Blake, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, I saw this in a few booktube videos, I can't remember specifically which booktubers it, they were. Um, I just know this is about three queens fighting to, to inherit the crown, I believe, and they all have different abilities and talents, and they're sisters, 
And yeah, it just seems like my kind of book, so I'm excited to get into this. And I believe this is a series. I'm not sure you guys will know better than I do, because I've, as I've said, I'm very behind on this kind of thing. But yeah, I'm excited to read that as well. I said the next four books were from Waterstones, it was the next three, because this next one I ordered from Book Depository as well. And again, with being behind in popular series and being very excited to catch up, I have Six of Crows by Lee Bardo. And you guys know about this book, you will have all read it, I'm sure. Um, and yeah, it was just about time I bought this and I can't wait to get into this. My last two books I purchased yesterday from HMV um, and it is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. Yeah, Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. Um, these are the Macmillan Alice copies and I just think they're gorgeous and I already own several copies of Alice. But I, I wanted to grow my collection. I consider myself a collector now and these were too beautiful to not pass up. So, yeah. I've also just realized I'm completely forgetting something I wanted to include in here. I purchased this in December when I was in England, but I have to include it in this video. It's this beautiful Lewis Carroll complete collection. It is huge, as you will imagine. Um, I already have this book, which I was gifted for Christmas a few years ago. This is probably the favorite, my favorite book that I own. Um, it's got gold lining on the pages, and inside is beautiful. I'm sure you've seen this around. Um, my disappointment with this, not that I was disappointed, but this doesn't include uh, the Jabberwocky, and all the, you know, it doesn't include absolutely everything by Lewis Carroll. So I found this when I was in Waterstones in Brighton, and it was only 12 pounds and I freaked when I saw how low the price was, I had to get it. So I got this, and like I said, my collection is just growing. I'm going to need a new bookshelf soon, which I'm excited about. So that is my book haul for January. Before I go, there are a few bits and bobs that I purchased that I wanted to share with you. I finally own a Jack Skellington mug. Isn't he beautiful? I got this yesterday, I think. Um, I'm just very excited. I kind of collect mugs and this is my first Disney mug. How it's taken me this long to buy a Disney mug, I do not know, but here we are and I'm glad Jack was the star of the collection. Included in the bits and bobs, I also wanted to include a bunch of DVDs that I've been buying because I've been growing my DVD collection as well. I love movies. Um, not quite as much as I love books, but I'm sure you guys can relate. Um, but I've decided I'll probably make a separate video for my DVD collection if any of you are interested in seeing that because this is getting very rambly and I feel like I'm not speaking like English. Uh, I'm sorry this was such a disjointed video and the lighting is so terrible and I'm sorry that I've not been active with videos for you guys but I have lots of ideas and I'm gonna push myself to find the motivation because I enjoy this. I don't know why I struggle with it so much. Uh, thanks guys for watching. If you want to subscribe, press that button. And yeah, have a great day or night wherever you are.